Hi, I'm Ralph Scrippet, known as the Wild Chef. I have been fishing and shooting since the age of eight, and the passion is about bringing game to the table with new, fresh ideas using local in-season produce. Now let's go and cook some great game dishes. Early morning shot roebuck. I had to give justice by using the prime saddle, a really nice cut that we chefs love to use. With rosemary crushed with sea salt and pepper, seared in the pan and pan fried sorted wild mushrooms, smoked bacon and pak choy for colour. Finished on crispy black pudding, drizzled with a ruby red wine and red currant sauce and the prime saddle loin sliced to finish. Justice done. We had a brilliant shoot this morning, um, some deer stalking uh, along the hedgerow here and uh, a roebuck popped its head out and the shot was taken and we've got some lovely venison here uh, to cook. So, go straight on to the dish here, we've got the, the loin, the saddle of the, uh, uh, of the uh, animal, so um, let's crack on and uh, season this. So, lots of pepper because Venison does take on uh, lots of salt. It needs lots of salt and pepper. Get that really flavour there. Okay, and rosemary again, because it's a good herb, it's a nice strong herb. Even get a little bit of salt in the hands here. To crush it, you've got to bleed that, that rosemary, get all the juices out. Okay, and we'll just give it a little chop. Okay, that's lovely. Get that pan nice and hot. Okay. Over the venison, pressing it into the meat so it really sort of infuses in there. Okay, that'd be great. Let's mop that up. Fantastic, they're ready for the pan. Okay, a little bit of oil and butter. And while we're doing that, we can get our sauce on, which is some red currant jelly and uh, let's get a little bit of that red currant jelly in there and we've got a fine red wine to go with that which is an Italian wine and the Italian wines are really really quite nice because they're really full bodied and uh, they'll go really they'll complement the venison really well so let's get that really nice and hot okay we're ready to go Let's get that straight in there. You've got to hear that sizzle in the pan. That shows it's a real, real good pan, hot pan. And, uh, and that's absolutely fine in there. What we're going to put with this dish is some nice little mushrooms. Again, they go well with venison. And uh, just to give it some different texture, let's give it a few different, different mushrooms in there. We've got some lovely oysters. And we're going to do and not, put it on a nice little bit of black pudding, get that nice and crisp up, and we're gonna put some red cabbage with that as well. So it'd be really, really good. Here we've got some bacon, a little bit of uh, smoked bacon. That's always good with the mushrooms. It's all about building the flavor, building the layers of flavor. So you, when you come to taste it, you can taste all of those things, and all those things go really well with game. Get that sauce really reduced down. We're going to reduce it by half because when we do that, it's going to really thicken up. And you notice I'm not keep turning those, those uh, saddle of venison there. We just keep it on one side, get it nice and crisp. And then we've got it and put it over and, uh, and finish it off. And we just want it pink. But remember, game always needs to rest. We need to sit it on the side and we need to rest it. 
So let's have a look at that. That's good. We'll give that a turnover. That's absolutely lovely. And for all of these things here, when we come to rest the meat, then we're going to use the same pan because again, all those juices are in the pan to finish off all the uh, mushrooms and uh, the smoked bacon and the black pudding. And I think we need a little bit of green in there. So here's some pak choy. And I think if we put a little bit of green in there, it'll nicely balance the dish out and again, give texture. So there we go. Let's have a look at the red cabbage. This has been braised with uh, red wine, sugar and vinegar. And that's been braised for a good three hours. Really intensify the flavour again. I'm just going to bring it back with a little bit of red wine. And that'll be ready to go. So let's go back to our sauce is looking good. Keep that rolling down, keep that reducing down. Nice rolling boil. These are looking good. And you can, now you can keep turning them over if you like, just to finish them off on either side. And they're still spongy, so that's still going to be rare there. So I want to do it a little bit more, just so it's still pink. We can actually put our black pudding in there now. Just put a touch more oil. Just go, it's got something to sit in there, something to cook in. Okay, that's really looking good. Keep them going. Okay, and keep reducing that sauce down. Want it nice and thick. That's looking good. Give the black pudding a turnover. Black pudding is just great with any game. And again, getting it lovely and crispy on the outside, so it's soft and, and beautiful soft in the middle. Perfect. I like my venison a little bit pink. And, uh, and I think that's how it should be served. Okay. They're ready to come out in a moment. And just keep simmering away the sauce. So it's lovely, it gets nice and thick. Okay. They're nice and spongy. They're looking good. So again, we can pop those out, put them on the board. All games should be rested. Okay, a little bit more butter. Again, you're picking up those flavours from, from the venison. So, you know, that's why we're using the same pan. First goes in the smoked bacon. Get that nice and crispy. You turn over the black pudding occasionally. Okay, and mushrooms, just break up a little bit. A little bit of pepper. Okay, and a little twist of salt, not too much. That's great, okay. That's coming together beautifully. Again, they don't need long mushrooms, just to saute them off. And now there's very little juice in the pan. It's not going to be over swamped with oil, so it's just going to be right. And you see, it needs some colour in there now. So that's where we use the pak choy, just to give it a bit of green colour in there. Balance this out. That's looking good. Okay, we can move our black pudding out now. Put that straight on the plate, it's ready to go. Let's clean the plate off. Okay, that looks good. Now we can put our red cabbage on. We'll start building the dish up now. And this is where you can put one side all your lovely smoked bacon and mushrooms and pak choy on one side. 
put the red cabbage on the other. They'll both balance out beautifully. Yeah, the sauce is lovely and thickened now. That can actually come off. So really it's just down to the red cabbage to finish off. As soon as it's taken all the red wine that we put in, that's fine. Okay, here's our venison, which is beautiful. Let's finish this red cabbage off. Okay, and here we can put this on the other side. Okay, it's looking good. Our sauce is split down the middle. And that's lovely, vibrant red to show off the venison. You can cut this a nice little slice just to show it off because at the end of the day this is really a lovely cut of meat and here we can show it off. Look at the juice is just really flowing from that. A little bit of rosemary and a little bit of thyme just to, there's a nice bit of flour on the thyme bit of rosemary and there we go fantastic dish and there we have it simple venison after a, a lovely morning shoot uh, that deer that just came out wandering out was just just the shot that was just going to make the day and then to finish it off with something like this you know again it's just brilliant and here we are in Dorset brilliant 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 time <laughs>